Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Professor Lorna Woods. Lorna is a professor of internet law at the University of Essex, where she is also a member of the Human Rights Center. She started her career in practice at a commercial solicitor's firm before moving to academia, where she has taught and conducted research in media and telecommunications regulation at both national and EU levels. She regularly gives oral evidence to parliamentary inquiries across the technology, media, and telecommunications sectors, both in the UK and abroad. She also published widely in these fields and has been country expert for the UK in respect of a number of commission-funded projects. Okay, Lorna, you know about your challenge. Telling us how to fix an element included or omitted in the Media Freedom Act. Thank you for inviting me. I'm going to talk about um, Article 17 of the proposed Media Freedom Act, which, as I'm sure you're aware, imposes specific of obligations on very large online platforms, requiring them to provide expedited routes for redress for self-declared media service providers. Um, now, I'm aware there's been uh, some debate about this clause. The, 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 the issue was uh, raised as the DSA went through, and there are concerns that it is either essential to stop uh, the, the, the media critical of governments being silenced, or it is a loophole in protection um, in that it allows uh, disinformation and misinformation to continue to circulate. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about a, a slightly different problem, which I, I hope is perhaps um, more solvable, more technical. And what I'm going to talk about is the relationship between Article 17 and, I suppose, existing regulation in the area, specifically the platform to business regulation, um, Article 11. Now, just to recap, Article 11 in the platform to business regulation imposes obligations on what is called online intermediation services. And I think this is a broader term than very large online platforms. And it imposes an obligation to provide an internal system for handling the complaints of business users, which seems to cover very similar terrain to that proposed by Article 17 of the proposed uh, Media Freedom Act. And I think that media service providers may well be business users for the, for the purposes of the platform to business regulation. I think even citizen journalists or the vast majority of them could fall within this definition. Um, Article 11 contains some, some more detail. It says the complaints process shall be based on the principles of transparency and equal treatment applied to equivalent situations and treating complaints in a manner which is proportionate to their importance and complexity. Article 11.2 specifies characteristics of the complaint system. It should allow for the complaints to be adequately addressed, communicate the outcome in clear language, and significantly, the intermediation services must process complaints swiftly and effectively. And again, this is taking into account the importance and complexity of the issues raised. So there's quite a bit more detail about the characteristics and the effectiveness of the complaints process than really we see in Article 17, despite the broadly similar objective. So I've got a question as to why Article 17 is in fact necessary. Does it add anything? Because I'm not clear what it specifically does. It would seem that the, the two provisions cover broadly the same sort of people, both in terms of uh, sort of those subject to the obligation and those benefiting from the obligation. And the obligation itself seems to be pointing in the same direction. 
Indeed, you might say that having two very similar provisions, but in slightly different wording, could be confusing as to what's actually required and for whom. Is this a separate system that's being required or is this uh, a specification of additional benefit in the context of media service providers? Now, that in itself is, 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 is weird because the obligation in um, Article 11 is quite clearly saying swiftly, whereas Article 17.3 talks about priority and without undue delay. And I think without undue delay may even be a lower standard than swiftly. So I think at the very least, when considering Article 17, we, we need to understand what it is it adds over and above Article 11 of the Platform to Business Regulation, and to say that clearly. And this is in the interests of both the service provider and the media organization. So, so they know which system's applying and they know what it does. There is a more technical drafting problem I'd like to flag up. And I think because it is technical, it may be more easily solved. And this is the use of the, the idea of giving the media complaints priority. Now, on the one hand, you can say, oh, the news is hugely important, public debate, it's got a very short shelf life, shorter than that of a lettuce. But is all uh, news stories of equivalent value in, in the debate? Does all uh, material published by the news uh, institutions have the same shelf life? Now, priority says that is more important than any other complaint. So what happens to the complaints of users under the DSA with regard to complaints in other areas? Well, um, terrorism may have specified times within which content must be reviewed, but for a, a whole load of other um, uh, sorts of uh, concern, there aren't specified timings. So you are using reasonableness and comparative considerations here. And we've just bumped all the news to the head of the queue. And crucially, and by contrast to Article 11, there is no consideration of the complexity or the significance or the proportionality of that. So you could have a situation where a little snippet uh, of little news value is being prioritized over revenge porn. And that does not seem to me to be right. I think this is especially the case if we don't know how much resourcing the platforms are going to put into respective complaints procedures. So I suppose two solutions, perhaps taken together, uh, is that if we keep Article 17 and that it has some distinct value, we should think more clearly about providing safeguards so that this procedure is not in competition for resources with other pr procedures for other users. So you could take out the with priority language and just rely on swiftly. You could put in language similar to that we see in Article 11 around taking into account the complexity and significance. Or we could make it clear that there should be two processes and that, you know, a media specific one um, deals with the media complaints and is resourced separately from general complaints for other concerns. So, that's my problem area for Article 17, and there's some potential fixes for you. Thank you so much, Lorna. I think um, th this is one of the most um, useful and, and uh, hands-on uh, solution that I've had on, on our podcast so far for the legislators.
And I think it is indeed very important to always look at new legislation in the context of existing legislation because we've a lot of digital legislation has been adopted um, over the past years and there's a lot of overlaps which um, I think legislators may sometimes forget but at some point some poor judge in a court will have to um, you know understand if swiftly is the same th thing as without undue delay and what that priority means uh, concretely. And as you said, Article 11 of the platform uh, to, to business regulation actually has a wider scope, both in terms of the platforms that need to uh, comply with it and in terms of the businesses that are covered by it. So uh, we must be sure in the Media Freedom Act that we don't create a separate process that is actually less beneficial um, and then the existing one, that would certainly um, not go in the direction of the intention, I think, of the legislature on that one. Thank you so much. I'm sure there will be more discussions, amendments, so we'll probably get in touch once there is a new language, different language on Article 17. And uh, hopefully it will include your recommendations. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you for having me.